Hey, it's Lauren. Today I want to share and introduce a brand that I have really been enjoying. This is a newer brand and I have a prediction that it is going to become very big over the next few years. And that is Mudo. I happened to find this when I was perusing Credo late one night, looking at some of the new launches and things that they were carrying. And I just happened to see this. It is called Worthy and it is described as a skin scent. Um, so I had never heard of this brand before and upon looking into them more, um, I discovered this is created by Brianna Arps and she created Worthy as something after she had been laid off, she was using fragrance as something to lift her mood and it made her feel worthy, which is how we have the namesake of the fragrance line. For me personally, fragrance has always been something I've really loved and much like Brianna, I also use fragrance to lift my mood in a very specific time frame that I can think of where I did something very similar was during the beginning of lockdown. I was home with my small child by myself. I didn't have a village at that time. I was by myself, like raising this baby. And so for me, like getting up every day and finding a sense of normalcy by getting up, putting on clothes, putting on makeup, even though I was stuck at home, um, I would also put on a perfume because it helped me feel good. And so I, that's one of the things that I love so much about fragrance. And part of what I love so much about this story is because I have also done that where I have used fragrance to lift my mood. So that's uh, one of the things I love so much about Worthy and the fact that it's called Worthy. I think that that's really beautiful. Um, so this particular fragrance, I'm utterly obsessed. I've been bathing in this stuff. It's so, so good. Um, online, the notes are listed as white tea, orange blossom, red rose, lavender, leafy greens, dry musk, vanilla woods, and amber. So I was like, okay, it's going to be warm. It's going to be this cozy kind of sensual scent. And when I first got it, I opened it up and I was like, this smells incredible. I've never smelled anything quite like it, but it also has this very familiar quality about it that I find enchanting. <laughs> there's, there's no better way to put it. I think the best way to describe how this smells, it's not overly floral. You do have that orange blossom, but it is not a very loud floral. Orange blossom has a very soft, inviting, slightly sweet smell. But the other thing I will say about this perfume, it is not cloyingly sweet. It definitely has more of a dry, woodsy kind of scent, but that vanilla and amber really warms it up a bit more too. Um, and then like in the middle of the notes, uh, rose and lavender, and you would think rose, it could pull kind of grandma. It doesn't do that at all in this. Um, I don't find it to be an overly rose forward scent at all. Um, and in fact, I would say when I first opened up this perfume and I went to smell it, even though I had read the notes online and I had a feeling I would really love it. When I opened this up and smelled it, I was like, wait, what am I smelling? Because the way that it blends together, it just meshes seamlessly. It's very hard to really isolate specific notes. If there's one thing I could say, maybe I detect more of that vanilla and amber than anything else because those are bigger base notes that are going to stick around for a longer period of time. But overall, it's just such a comforting scent. Um, so this is... It is a fragrance oil. It is something that you spray on. It's not a roller ball, so I think that's important to note. And they say when you spray this on to do it, um, you know, right after you get out of a shower, out of a bath, so you don't get it all over your clothes. You don't want to stain your clothes with oils. Um, this does have several oils in it. There's coconut, fractionated coconut oil, which is not likely to clog pores. There is apricot oil, which is high in antioxidants, as well as grapeseed oil, and um, meadow foam seed oil, which helps to lock in the fragrance on your skin. And so that brings me into my next point about this. This perfume, the skin scent, it does not scream. It does not have an enormous projection, but it lasts basically all day on your skin. It wears very close to your body. It's very personal. It's very intimate. It's something that 
you'll smell all day and people that get very, very close to you. So if you have anybody that comes to like hug you or like snuggles into you, they're going to smell it and it smells incredible. It's really my only pain point with this is that I wish it had a bigger projection, but I have incredible news on that note. There is a worthy eau de parfum coming this holiday season. And I am beyond excited because I have been blowing through this bottle. I've only had it for a week, you guys. Like It's so, 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 so good. Um, so I actually had reached out to Mudo and happened to get Miss Brianna Arps herself who clarified um, after I brought this up that yes, there is a Where the Eau de Parfum coming. She said that the projection will be stronger for the Eau de Parfum. It will still be personal, but more intense. And right now the skin scent is meant to be more of a primer. So this is something you can kind of layer. And on that note, she also said that there are more perfumes in the works. I'm so excited. Like I'm just like, I could jump out of my skin. I'm so excited. So um, this brand has been around for about a year now. It launched in 2021. And so I had found this article that talked about some of the like first year call outs that Mudo has accomplished. And so um, I'm gonna read off this list because there is a lot to talk about here. <laughs> so it launched in Credo as the first black female owned fragrance. This is a luxury line and I am so excited to watch them grow. Um, I did ask Brianna more specifically if the Eau de Parfum would be available on Credo. It will be exclusive to them when it does launch. So you will have to go to the Mudo website. It was nominated for the Beauty Industry Beacon Award. They have received six figures in grants. Worthy Skin Scent has sold out multiple times. Currently at the time of me filming this, it is um, considered a pre-order on their website and it will be shipping in early November. In November, 2022, Arbs will relaunch nonprofit Black and Fragrance. So this particular nonprofit was created by Brianna herself after she created her own line. Um, what I think is so beautiful about this, Mudo is a new brand. This is not an enormous brand, but Brianna created it herself and then is going out of her way to lend a helping hand to other potential black perfumers and people that want to work in fragrance. And I think that that is such a loud statement on who Brianna is, but also what Mudo is all about. And I think there is no greater thing that you can do than be the change you wish to see. And I personally am just like utterly obsessed with this. Like, ma'am, take my money, <laughs> please. It's so good. Um, so very excited to see, not only has she created something so incredible, but she is going to provide opportunities for other people. I love that. And then, like I said, where the Eau de Parfum will be launching this holiday season. So good, so, so good. Oh, guys, I just, Mudo, you've captured my heart. I love you. That is all, that is all I've got. It is like, if you are looking for a scent that is much more intimate. You could wear it in an office setting and you're not going to choke out your coworkers, but you still wanna smell really good and you wanna enjoy it. This is it, this is the one. I hope that you have enjoyed this review. If you are curious, you can find this on their website and on Credo. Um, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. That helps other people to find my channel and this video. And if you want to see more beauty reviews, please do subscribe. I'll see you next time, bye.